the one I think that haunts him the most is when he got injured. He was getting ready to go out into a convoy and he usually rode the same place all the time and then this particular time he just decided he didn't want to ride there and he chose another vehicle and the convoy was attacked. Uh, and the seat that he would have been in was totally obliterated. Um, the vehicle that he was in, the gunner's turret, uh, received a mortar round and uh, his gunner was burned pretty badly. Uh, he was sprayed with shrapnel and everything. And being that he was married to a medic, uh, he's a combat lifesaver. <laughs> and uh, he did his thing. And I'm surprised because he hates blood, like really hates blood, but he did it. He's like, I was taking care of people and he didn't even realize he was injured until he had gotten back to the aid station with the guys who were really severely burned. Um, and that just kind of is, is with him. He has survivor's guilt uh, that has really impacted our life and our marriage a lot. Uh, for us, it's just, it's a constant battle to remind him that you are here for a reason whatever you know power you believe in you're here and so it's in vain if you don't live but it's very hard for him to do that he's very quiet uh, very withdrawn and it kind of it, it kind of hurts sometimes because you don't know if it's okay is he not enjoying us or the family or or what I don't know it's, it's so much sadness inside of him